Hey, welcome to Too Many Gadgets. So today is another video in my Tesla series and this time it's about wrapping your car to get another color. I've had my car now for six months and I'm super happy with it. But when I ordered the car and had to choose a color, so I had some, uh, I had some doubts. Uh, so Tesla doesn't actually offer that many colors. In Denmark, the standard color that you don't pay extra for is white. It used to be black. Uh, and then there are different other options that will cost you just uh, $1,500 ish, uh, with the exception of the red, which will cost around yeah, $3,000. Uh, and I was so, sort of to lean towards the red color, but I found it to be, uh, when I saw it in real life, uh, it's, it's nice looking when you see it in the, when you know it's just been washed or in the, in the dealership, but when you see it on the road, uh, it usually looks kind of dull, the, the red color, so I wanted something uh, yeah, uh, different. And there's also been a lot of talk about Tesla's paint jobs not being as good as with other manufacturers. That it's uh, sold uh, more fragile would be perhaps the correct word here. Um, so uh, wrapping your car can also be a way of protecting your uh, paint job and, uh, and having sort of the, the original paint underneath protected by putting on vinyl on top so that yeah you add an extra layer uh, on top of your car. So uh, I decided to, to uh, do a wrap of my car and this is to document this process. But before we go into the sort of the, the process of wrapping the car, and uh, let me just again show you how my car looked out of the shop uh, in the original white. I actually think the car is looking great in white uh, and I had it for three months before finally deciding you know to, to go through on my original plan with uh, having it wrap uh, and like the, the key thing in, in in making that decision was that I found you know that seven out of ten cars in the Copenhagen area where I live uh, when you're talking about Tesla Model 3s they are white because it's the standard color so uh, yeah I didn't want to have the same as all the others so uh, so I ended up contacting a local dealership uh, that uh, that I uh, found and then uh, agreed with them that I could sort of document the process of them doing the the wrapping and I can also uh, I did an interview with the with the owner but it's in Danish so but I'll just talk afterwards about some of the, the things that you should be aware of when doing this process and also sort of the warranty period that some of these uh, wrap uh, companies have for stuff like this.
So I think the end result was great. What I've shown you is after the I had the car in uh, again after a couple of months to do the small corrections and they applied this uh, wax, uh, I think it is, uh, to protect the vinyl and make it more durable during the coming years. Uh, so again, there were some small imperfections in how the vinyl was placed, but again, all of that was, was fixed in the, in the process after a couple of months, like they, they, they promised me. So, uh, but this is like a, a view into how the future will be. Ever so often, I will uh, need to go into the, to the dealership to have the vinyl corrected and make sure you know that the small imperfections are dealt with. So you need to have this in your, your mindset that uh, you will need to, uh, to be without the car for a day, uh, uh, like two days a year perhaps, uh, in, in my case. And that's just part of the process. Um, also note that it is not the entire car that are wrapped. So in my instance, I have uh, had, the, had it done. So when you look at the car from the outside with door and, and trunk and front closed, you will probably not notice the original color. Once you open a door or a, a, frunk, a trunk, you will notice the original white color. Because if you actually were to uh, put vinyl on all the surfaces, the entire surface, that would be so crazy expensive because you would pretty much have to take the, the whole car apart that then it is uh, not cost effective to put vinyl, then you should do a paint job if that's what you're looking for. So let me just show you uh, how it looks when you open the door or some of the uh, yeah, trunk trunk uh, tools and you will notice the original color. I'm super happy with my end result. I paid, uh, ended up paying about $2,000 uh, for this. That might be cheaper where you live because uh, the work labor is fairly expensive in Denmark. I, I don't think the vinyl is that big of the price really. I think it's, it's much uh, to, the, to the actual, uh, yeah, uh, the time they have to spend on doing this again because it, it takes actually four days, the entire process. So, um, of course, it would be, uh, you know, I paid $2,000 and I, I think I th said, you know, that it would have been around $3,000 if I had just chosen the original Tesla Red. But, uh, so was that worth the investment given, you know, that uh, the car is still slightly white on some surfaces? Well, for me it is because uh, this is not the same red as Tesla. It's a better red in my mind. You know, I, I still prefer this color to the Tesla red because I think the original Tesla red looks great. Uh, you know, all shiny and new, and when it's uh, yeah waxed and washed. But you know, once it, it comes on the road and just gets a little bit of dirt on it, I think it quickly becomes kind of dull. So for me. This color is, is much better and uh, yeah, it uh, is makes my car mine. So if it, this is something that you're looking for to do, I could definitely recommend this. But pay attention to where you are buying this. Make sure you understand the entire package that you're getting so that you understand, you know, if they uh, will uh, make the corrections needed. And again, they, they will happen uh, uh, for and get, again, for how long. So you, uh, you fully understand how much you're probably going to pay for the lifetime of this uh, vinyl. Uh, so the, the, the guy who did this for me uh, has a three year warranty on his work on it. And the vinyl itself has, uh, uh, and the vinyl that's been put on in my case is from Avery. And they have a seven year warranty period on the, the material itself. But he says, you know, that the, the vinyl should be good for at least 10 years. But uh, the warranty is much. It, it's the the warranty period. It's it's really more about 
how the color will change over time. So that's really what the warranty period about. So it's not that the, the vinyl will, will sort of evaporate, but the color will probably slowly change over time. And that's why they put this, uh, yeah, this uh, limit on it. Hope you found this uh, useful. If you have any other experience than me with putting vinyl on your, your car, please uh, leave a comment and share with the other Tesla owners so we can all benefit from what we have uh, done here. I have some other Tesla videos coming up with some small corrections that I did on my car. So uh, let's see when I have time to do those. Uh, but again, see you guys in another video. Bye.